Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? It's your girl Composey back with another video in the songwriting series. Hopefully, you guys have been able to get, you know, some information that's uh, useful to your career, to your artistry out of this. Um, and I hope that you are, so I'm going to keep making these videos until somebody says, no, they're definitely not helping. Stop making these videos. But until then, I press right. on. So these are some uh, songwriting tips on key components of songs. A lot of this information is very basic, very, very elementary stuff. But, you know, it's worth going over. You know, that's how the greats become greats. Uh, number one, melody. Um, the melody does not have to be fancy in order for it to be effective. So, your melody does not have to... Um, it doesn't have to be something that's never been heard before. There are a lot of songs that have some very, very simple melodies, and they're very effective. They go number one, they make lots of money, they win Grammys, you know, the whole gamut of things. So, the melody, it just needs to be effective. Um, and here's how you can tell if a melody is effective. Is it something that gets stuck in your, in, in your brain? Um, we call that an earworm. Is it something that once you hear it, does it constantly kind of replay throughout your mind and throughout your ears? Um, that's an effective melody right there. If it's something that you hear and you cannot get it out of your head, that's effective. I'm going to give you a great example of that. How many of you guys have ever seen that uh, cat commercial? Uh, meow, 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 meow. I'm sure if you know it, you can sing the rest of it. It's no problem. That's a very effective melody. It's very simple, but it's very effective. It's got an earworm quality to it. Um, now, that's a jingle. That's not like a song, but, you know, great example to show you where I'm going with that. So that's the first, first thing. The second thing is um, the hook. Now, most of the time, the hook of the song is basically like the chorus. It's the part that, you know, there's a verse there's a chorus or there's a verse, there's a pre-chorus, there's a chorus, however, you know, it's arranged by the songwriters themselves. But what I'm talking about in this instance is a hook as far as something in the song that is catchy, that is unique, and that will set the song apart from anything else that is out there. That may be the words. That may be the instrumentation, that may be the snare drum, that may be a run that happens with the vocalist, that may be the pre-chorus, that may be the introduction, it may be the you know the rap feature, it, it, it could be so many different things that will draw a person into that song, but that's the main thing, that's what a hook is, it's something that you throw it out there, you hope something catch on it, and you reel it on back into you. You want to be able to hook somebody's ear, hook their attention, um, especially this day and age, you know. Um, that's why I try not to make these videos too long, because I know when I see a long video, that dissuades me from really wanting to, to watch it. I'm busy. I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, if you got some information for me, and you can condense that down to less than 10 minutes, I'm more likely to watch your video, and that's why I try to keep my videos kind of short because it's hard to keep people's attention. Yeah. The songwriting tips, just in general, um, really, you know, be working on your melodies, keeping them simple yet effective with that earworm quality and also your hook. Um, now, this is where your producer can play a big role in this because, again, the hook does not always necessarily have to be the chorus, you know, portion of the song. It doesn't really necessarily have to be that. It can be, you know, some other things. And that's why you as a songwriter, you as an artist, it's very important to, you know, make sure you're choosing the right producers, choosing the right beat makers. Um, and I'm going to be doing a video on that later, the difference between a producer and a beat maker. Which one do you need? Which one is right for you? Do you need them both? Are they both the same person? Can they both, are, are they not, you know? and um, everything in between. So hopefully those two keys um, will give you something to think about and um, I'll check you out next time. Hey, make sure to please like and subscribe. Um, share these videos if it's helping you. If it's not, tell me that too. Leave your comments and your thoughts below. All right. Hey.